Hi right, guys, welcome back. We gotta go kill Kom, uh, which is in itself probably not the thing that we'd ever want to hear. We gotta go kill Kom. I once heard a Kom is much quieter than Dereso. Dead. Perhaps this is it. No, I know. He's he's a big manly like we we've, we've heard him in the lore kind of, but he's like a big manly Kuri man, and um, the Kuri are basically like. The black people of this game, I guess. I don't know what the hell. Well, them. they're the indigenous people. That uh, they're the indigenous people of Namakanui. Oh yeah. Uh, what, what happened? What, what the fucking? Did, if, you, uh, if you played the Marauder, you get a lot more of the story stuff because he's actually great. But basically, it's an another unique truck. This one's the best one, actually. This yeah, is, this, the, this is disgusting. This is the fastest, uh, the fastest uh, weapon in the game. Where, where is it? Where's my left slam? Is my left slam on this one? Yeah, it is. Fuck, do I have faster attacks somewhere? Yeah, I do. Shit, yeah. Alright, let's go le left slam everywhere. I'm my free now. Spent. Dude, I can, I, I'll, dude I'll, 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 I'm actually more than happy to switch to, to my to my offhand to fucking left slam. Uh, left slam. Yeah, yeah. Probably I should kill this stuff because I just realized that you're fucking. you can't do it without me. No, I'm just kind of like dancing around it right now. All right, so now now I'm gonna switch my offhand every time I want to jump anywhere. I like how fast it looks. It, it, it is so fast though. You know, I, it just occurred to me I probably had multi strike somewhere, but I can't. Uh, uh, I probably uh, should, uh, next time we're in town, I'll, I'll see. You, you don't get multi strike. Play. Yeah, not until after this quest. Oh really? Oh yeah, that's right. That's why. Okay. We're gonna get it. To, you've said it. You've you you've you've said a lot about multi strike so far. Yet we still have not gotten it. You really want it? There's no way I could pass up not using that. Like this, this, this gem. Oh, sorry, this fucking sword. This hammer. Yeah. The it's hammer. The best bike. hammer, man. I have to switch every time now. I want to. I want to leave <laughs> slam though. But At least your auras aren't on there or anything stupid, right? No, no, no. Of course not. No, I just checked. Definitely just not. Check. I, I do. I don't know. I just. I just want to fucking go fast, man. Sanic is my hero. Oh, All right. Well, are, are, can we expect that Sonic Forces Let's Play anytime soon? Uh, Sonic Adventure Two. Sonic, uh, create my own original character to the game. Oh, uh, yeah, the best game. Have you seen it, right? It looks Deviant amazingly the game, bad. Yes. I, um, I should mention, in this area, there's gonna be one kind of, sort of, boss-ish guy. Uh, which is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. And we'll, we'll, we'll actually try and engage him, because he's, like, really it's fucking... Called the, it's called the Curry Grove. It's like a bunch of carved trees. And by God, are they a pain in the ass. Yeah, basically, uh, when when the screen kind of turns into fuck, uh, that's when you'll know that you see him. Uh, them. Them, yeah. They they hurt a lot every single time we play this game. They're like they're the worst. No, it's because there's like eight of them, and they're all they like as soon as you run into them, they all just look at you and just start shooting immediately. There's like no, there's like no like recourse with them. They hate our freedom. Okay, I think they're up here somewhere. I mean, I'll probably be able to deal with it, but you know. Not probably not so much, because he's already died like twice. I have? Uh, well, you died once in the fucking, uh... Well, you, you died once to the exploding guy, and then you died again to... Okay, the exploding uh, guy, guy was for memes, I'm okay? That's uh, not a legitimate death. Pat, I, I, I don't think you like memes. Just oh, saying. okay. Maybe he's not here. No, this is just little, little guys. You don't want to come up here and read the, read the weathered carving? No. Thought the, I thought this was a, I thought this was for the lore. I mean, I, I basically said buy the fucking game. Well, not buy the fucking game. Uh, play the play the game yourself. Hey, there uh, they are. Uh, there you, yeah, there you go. That's the fucker. So where are they? There's like a totem there. Now they're are, shooting. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of the saplings. Well, I mean, I do a lot of damage to them, so. But I'm just saying that they do yeah. a shit ton of damage. Oh, yeah, way to I... hype him up, Mike. Oh, we got an Amethyst Blast. Fuck. It's for Chaos Resist, the hardest to resist to get. I'm just saying, right now I'm overpowered as shit, but like... 
And you I'm may, buffing you up even further. Yeah, you may not have... Uh, well, I... Yeah, you know what? Sure, it's all Pat, guys. It's all Pat that's doing all the damage here. I didn't say that. All Pat. I, I, I should get, like... Move your curses. What else is this thing? Light, why do I have Lightning Strike? Uh oh. Because you were going to test it out. I don't think you've actually used it yet. I, I did use it, actually. Oh, I don't remember. I, I just, I'm surprised that's the thing on my up hand. I had lacerated. I, I don't have that on my main hand. That's because I don't think you can lacerate with a mace. No, you can't. It has no, it has no blade. Just use the wind scar. You have to have a bladed weapon. So we're doing speedrun tactics by fucking having an offhand. Jumping of like a goddamn space. NBA player. Here's that shit, Kilo Neil build. Oh, space jam! You're gonna space jam your way through the game. Hell yeah! Love that game. All right, I got a some bad. Oh, there you go. That's not so bad. Oh, thank you. That's not bad. You ready? Yep. I was born ready. I can't do this just yet. Yeah, my uh, AOE skills pretty makes pretty much makes opening chests like a non-issue. This is why I really like Earthquake, and it, it's actually like a very good contender for a late game ability for me, because I I just I like it. Like you can see when it does I a put, lot of damage. When I put reduced duration on it, it became like ten times better, like instantly. And it's actually one of the I, I would say one of the cheaper and like economical builds to actually do in this game. So, mm, you're right. Like it's 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 a great starting build, and it'll get you through like ninety percent of the content too. But that other ten percent, you you're gonna you're gonna have to work for. But I'll uh, I'll get into like trading and stuff a little bit later uh, as a as a tutorial in itself. As I I can do that. Well, uh, you're not gonna go to the auction house and pay your in-game. Uh, Gold that you bought off the marketplace, and there's no option pass. Oh, sorry, I forgot no, no. we're not playing Diablo Tris. I mean, they they actually removed that option pass, though. I think they did, or maybe not. I remember maybe there was a lot of backlash for it. I mean, that's why they removed it because they couldn't they couldn't justify selling expansion with that thing there. But a lot of people, what they did was they realized that Diablo Three kind of sucked, so they basically like they they played the hell out of it, and then they just kind of made their money back by selling. Uh, their gear to the uh, next person, and yeah, then they well, kind of just went this endless cycle. No, they just they sold it and didn't, didn't, didn't touch the game again because they're like, it's not a good game. So, oh, that's a mind blast. Yeah. Well, I killed him like oh, it kills Harbinger. I got a challenge completed. Nice. All right. Uh, what am I doing now? Do I want endurance charges or do I want something else? Is the question. Um, do we want some damage? Maybe I think we maybe want some damage. Yeah, attack speed and physical damage. That seems actually kind of nice. We'll go. We'll go up that direction. I think we got enough life for now. For now. What was the? Uh, let me go see what the challenge was. You're bleeding, Mike. That's not that's rude to point out. Oh, uh, we have to kill 500 summons, so I just did that. By the way, this is my only character with his league right now, so... And I'll probably remain we've that been way. Going, we've been going slow this league. We've been taking it easy. Well, I have. You have not. It, Pat's probably already actually beaten the game. I have not. No, I've actually I've actually stayed out of the new content, so that way we can experience together as a family. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I don't really give a fuck. I'm I'm gonna experience as a it. family, Mike. Pat, this is the Mike Latt show. Okay. Okay. Just say it. All right, here's go. Black Spirit. See, look, he's a racist. He talked about Black Spirit. Don't do this just yet. Well, no, the Black Spirit is Hinakora and Kitaba. Come on, Mike. Don't you know your lore? This guy's really fucking easy, actually. Just be happy I like how when we got down to half health, he's like, down. Help me! I mean, I, I just kind of just smashed his face in. Why is my DPS 2000, uh, like 3000? What is it without you? Get get the fuck away from me. 
Well, it's 2,200, so you're not even adding actually that much damage. Well, it doesn't work well with Earthquake uh, because I'm running Haste, and Haste doesn't help you that much. Yeah, so, so it's even less DPS than technically. Fucking hell. Well, no, I don't think it even factors that in. Isn't it doing like a flat thing? Um, it's a flat thing for... No, like the average damage? I mean, you could take off every single aura you have and then just put on that and see how, see how it looks, but... No, it don't matter. I'm not DPS. that worried about it. I have DPS. Oh, I got 10% faster attacks. Nice. That's actually really nice. So that's This one has faster attacks on top of that. Alright, so... What do you need now? I do a lot of damage. And it's this weapon is actually just was incredibly rolled. And I didn't actually talk about what happens if you don't roll a good weapon. I mean, you could always try it again. But the idea is that even the base weapon, if you're rolling it like I was, even the base weapon should be an upgrade. Like, even like even if you I roll fucking it. nothing, it should be an upgrade no matter what. Because you, you should be at a point where you're like, wow, I'm, I'm literally having trouble progressing through the game. That's when you do it. If you can kind of still progress through the game, then there's no point in you kind of doing that anyways. As I, I think we gotta talk to characters for like an hour and a half. Maybe Pretty just, much. Yeah, fucking hell. Alright. We gotta give the eye of... Uh, Fury. Eye of penis to this person. Fury and desire together again. Lovely and lovely. Facets so shiny, replete with the vim of murdered souls. My Malachi did the crafting. Beautiful work. General Adis did the murdering. Equally beautiful work, in its own juicy way. Num Num's time, my little rapture. Have you ever been to the end of the world before, my king? Asked the blackest monkey. No, I have not, realized the monkey king. There is my reason to go where you go, be where you be, my king, concluded the blackest monkey in a voice as warm and welcoming as death. Do you know who wrote that, not a cockroach? Victario Navalius, the people's poet of San. He was my friend, and I betrayed him. Took his love and burned it before his eyes. Now I am betrayed. My heart burned black by the one man I loved. Malachi. He's found a new heart, you see. A beast's heart to cuddle up to. To keep him warm and safe at the end of the world. Today, I remind Malachi of his betrayal. Today, it is his turn to burn. Malachi's devices, his creations, he loved them all, not me. He betrayed me then, said he loved me, then said he wanted me to die. He betrays me now, lets me suffer, lets me wither. Am I the one and only mistake that you ever made, Malachi? Yes, that's me. Diala, the Gemling Queen. Malachi's misdemeanor. Make him regret his mistake. Not a cockroach. Tear open the beast's black heart. Rip Malachi from his filthy little nightmare. Cut him. Crush him. Burn him from existence. He deserves no better. And I deserve no worse. No love for me. No love. No love. No love. Alright, well shit just got fucked up bye here. Bye-bye. <laughs> she tells me bye bye. Still, I live. Yeah, she's uh, she looks like a corpse now. She always kind of dead. Wow. 
Now even more. What is that in your eyes? That glistening, that softness? Is that pity? Take those pitying eyes away before I pluck them from your face. I need but one thing from you now. Malachi. Dead. Take this. I've given everything else to him. My youth and beauty. My body and mind. My heart. And at last, the only thing he ever gave to me in return. My gemling power. This is all I have left. I entrust it to you. Not a cockroach. Malachi taught me not to trust anyone. It is time to forget everything that Malachi taught me. All right, we got a couple gems here. Uh, Spellico is really nice. If you're a spellcaster, we are not spellcasters. Multi-strike is probably the best one. Uh, we have something called greater multiple projectiles. So we had lesser multiple projectiles before. This is four additional projectiles um, instead of two. But it does less damage per projectile. Chaining, which is skills chain. But as I said, none of this is really melee related except for multi-strike. And area of effect kind of does work for us, but we don't want that because it requires like a shit ton of ints so yeah we go for the multi-strike no love for diala no love for diala all right so we can now do something like sunder instead of earthquake or maybe lacerate or something i don't know probably probably sunder all right so we're gonna do instead of earthquake just to mix it up even though i love earthquake so much we're gonna go with um sunder multi-strike uh, physical, melee, and maim. Although I kind of would like one green socket on this piece of shit. For faster attacks? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna actually waste one of our chromatic orbs actually right now. So. Oh my lord. It's an evasion armor piece. Fuck. Alright, well we're, we're never using that uh, piece again. Um, <laughs> well, we're gonna put on this again. Or just want one green socket. There you go. Okay. I mean, you don't have a lot of chromatic orbs, guys. So, I mean, it's fucking... Uh, life is hard. Alright, so let's put that back on. Let's put Blood Rage here. Let's put Hatred here into the chest piece. Because now I have a chest piece that will roll nothing but fucking green. I just realized this now. Good job. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have uh, changed it. I just realized that. Because if it's a green and... Uh, sorry, if it's a Strength Evasion chest piece, it's going to roll red and green. And already as it is, I was having trouble re-rolling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the red's back on to it, so I just said, fuck it. Um, uh, so here we go, we got Sunder, we got Multi-Strike, we got Malay Physical Damage, and then we have Faster Attacks. So this Maim Gem I'm going to just put away, Earthquake we're going to put away, and Lesturation I'm going to put away. Alright, so Enduring Cry, uh, I have a... I had a helmet here that I kind of wanted to use for a while. Because it's actually not bad. So we're gonna put Enduring Crown there, and Social Protector on there. Hell, we can put Maim on here as well, fuck it, might as well. And I think that's basically it. Yeah, there's nothing else that's really good here that I saw that I was really into. Alright, so now we have uh, Sunder. And Sunder is gonna be equipped with some interesting things. Uh, let's just trade some of this stuff around, because I hate how this works. All right. I, actually, I actually just now got some links to put on my minions, so now they'll actually start doing better damage. Yeah, sure they will. We all believe that. Yeah. yeah let me get Hatred back on, because one of the aura was missing. All right, so... So, here's how it works. I'm clicking once right now. That is me clicking once. Like, I, like, like literally, I'm going to I'm gonna click, and I'm going to just try and... I'm going to right-click to attack, and I'm going to try and move away, like, down. So... You can see that's what multi-strike does. That's the disadvantage. The disadvantage of multi-strike is that you get a shit ton of attack, attack speed, a little bit less damage, and the, and the skill repeats two times. Um, and this has actually raised my DPS by a significant margin, actually. But problem is I'm now locked into an animation, which means you can't dodge any bolt. 
really anymore. The dodging capabilities are kind of lowered, so um, kind of bad, uh, but kind of good at the same time. It's a it's a mixed bag. I'm inside it. I I, I think it's for the best. Itself. I mean, I, you don't need to dodge if everything's dead. That's true. So the the guy kind of auto attacks like. Um, things that are new. I'm gonna just put this on move only. Uh, uh, the guy kind of auto attacks um, things if the first target dies. But this is kind of the problem I had with Wild Strike, if you guys remember. Um, which is like, when you're not hitting anything, nothing happens. And then with Wild Strike, uh, and if you put Multi Strike on that shit, you're literally, if everything is dead on the first hit, you're kind of locked into an animation, and it's really annoying. I'm just standing there. You're, yeah, and, and it's a melee-only skill. At least with Sunder, I kind of go target the next thing, which it has range on it, right? So, Multi-Strike is actually a really good ability. You can, I mean, on Earthquake, it won't do anything. because I, Actually, I don't even think the gym works, but... Uh, I mean... It'll just repeat your basic attack three times. Yeah, I, I, it may not even work with it though. That's the thing. It, it may, I, I don't know. It may not be, be able to be supported with it. But like the whole point of earthquake is you do that one big attack and then everything kind of blows up there rather than small hits. But Sunder, Sunder is actually a really good ability. Uh, as you can see, like it actually did raise my DPS by a significant margin. So it's just the only problem is now I'm like, as I said, I'm locked into an animation now. Well, one of the things about Sunder too is that it's not explicitly stated by Mike, but one of the things on the skill gym is every time you hit an enemy with the the line on the Sunder, it actually creates a little shock wave. So the more enemies that get hit by the Sunder as a whole, the more damage it does. Cause it's kind of almost like a uh, like a, a cascade effect. As each enemy gets hit, the Sunder like releases little shock waves that do damage. Yeah, it's. Uh... I mean, it's not it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Actually, it's a pretty good ability, I'd say. And I have faster attacks on and everything. It's it's pretty good. Uh, I I dropped off all my transmutes. Uh, so did I. Fuck it then. I don't care. It's early enough in the game where we don't need to care. Oh, that's a fifty we'll percent flask actually. What's a fifty percent flask? Fifteen percent quality. Oh, I I was very confused. Actually, I think I. Oh no no no! I, I don't attack any faster. Never mind. You used to be able to do multi strike on leap slam, and that was like the best thing ever. You look like a t like you were throwing a temper tantrum. It was like boom, boom, boom. But you can't do that anymore. They they removed it because it honestly it really didn't make sense. It was hilariously bad. But I mean, with with things like uh, earthquake, you can kind of see why multi strike probably wouldn't work that well. Um, you know, it's everything has its own ups and downs, but yeah. Multi strike is generally speaking, if it's kind of, if you're going for like a kind of a faster build, um, it's pretty good. I like it. it. Adds a lot of damage. I, okay, open your anus, Mike. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're we're in some we're in something's asshole right now. I'm um, frozen. Detonates corpses. Probably shouldn't stand near that. Uh, looks like it has been now on the ball of blowing everything up. Yeah, I got the, I got the, I got those out of play. Cause that's incredibly loud. I would really like to make this armor piece into like two red, two green, cause then I could do lacerate. D don't you have one of those orbs that makes multiple sockets from an item? Uh, yeah, but the colors, I mean, it's the colors. Yeah, just just find a good armor. You need red and green, right? Just find a really good armor evasion based chest piece, and then use that on it. You're Gucci. Yeah, uh, this is the problem with right now is I don't want to spend a lot of chromes on anything. So, uh, and you'll see because we're gonna run out of chromes pretty pretty quickly if we we continue doing. Mike's this. a cheap bastard, but so am I. Oh, duelist, you're so cute when you're bewildered. Oh, it's Piety again. And yeah, now she's a starfish, though. Uh, we we walk around the laser beam. She has a little animation when she starts it. And I killed her because I have 20% call. And she destroyed all my minions. I knew I could rely on you. It's because your minions fucking suck. And let me Screw get, you. Let me her. That's twice now I've experienced a little death with you, duelist. This time it was just the rude awakening I needed. When we shared our moment back in the Lunaris Temple, part of me wishes I'd died at your feet as intended. The little girl within me that shies from darkness. 
from greatness. It was Malachi who reached out to me, who wrapped me in nightmare, made me his slave. He has shown me greatness beyond imagining, so much that I thought my mind would shatter under its weight. And although my mind remains intact, my dreams were not so fortunate. Malachi is in the beast's black core right now, harnessing all that the beast is and will be. He will destroy this world and forge it anew in the divine image of Nightmare. Yet as powerful as Malachi has become, he is neither unreachable nor invulnerable. He sacrificed much to become the beast's prime servant, both in spirit and in flesh, yet three vital organs remain. His heart, lungs, and entrails. Keepsakes of humanity lost. They will be our tickets into Malachi's private little show. Venture deeper, deep into Nightmare's abattoir. I'll follow when I'm able. You find me those organs, and I'll get us into the Black Core. All right. Well, that's, so uh, did we ever mention that we're literally walking through something that's alive? Like we're literally inside. Like, like the 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 walls are watching us. Have, have, have we pointed that out yet? Because it's fucking disgusting. Not in this room. Not in this room. But like in previous rooms, there's been like eyeballs looking at us and shit. It's fucking creepy, dude. Spikes. Sorry, I, yeah, I changed my mind. We're gonna just do it in this one. It's gonna be a longer episode because we're so close to the ending of this that, like, yeah. That I'm gonna just make an extra long episode if needed. Sorry, I, that was a really bad cutting point that I would have been felt bad about. This thing gets more twisted with every step I take. Um, I should mention though, for a lot of these bosses, you're watching me kind of dodge everything and whatever. And if you don't know how to how to dodge some of this stuff properly, that's what Enduring Cry is for. Uh, you you keep all those charges up, and then you can take that. Uh, you keep all those charges up, and it'll actually reduce a lot of the damage that you take. And, I mean, maybe it would be uh, in, in your best interest to actually, like, invest into the endurance charges, which actually we'll probably be doing next. I'm, and I'm not going to stand in that, because that's, uh, that's disgusting. It's like piss yellow in here now. Yep. Before we walk this path together, it's important that you understand one thing about me. I don't regret a single thing that I've done. I set out to raise humanity up from the cloying mud of its fleshly ignorance. My mistake was not in the aspiration, but in the execution. Now I intend to correct that mistake. Really, I'm not helping you, Exile. You're helping me. So, have you found those juicy organs for me yet? Alright, so, we gotta find... Let me just make sure the waypoint's on here. We gotta find organs. There's a, a split path here. One is up, two are down. We're gonna go, I guess, to Upway first. Oh yeah! I'll let you go through the anuses, but they just kind of weird me out a little bit. I thought you have an anus. I mean, uh, this guy has reflective no. uh, elemental damage, but it doesn't matter to us. We're not actually taking a lot of damage, so it's all good. Well, you've got leech, so it helps. Yeah, we we just leech right through it. All right, here's Chevron's arena. Get all this stuff out of here. All right. Gorgeous. And away, these lovely. are characters in the lore. Let's not stand near Such the books. These are characters actually in the lore. So she's got a little bit of a thorns thing going on. She's got some books. She fires some things at and she's fucking dead. All right. <laughs> That's actually the woman who made. Brutus. will get you nowhere with me, milady. Milady. Uh, tips fedora. Milady. All right, we're gonna just portal back because I mean, there's really no reason not to. And I'm just gonna continue. I'm just gonna keep this shit with me. So, what, what were you saying? The Chevron's the lady that actually made Brutus back in the prison. She's also important for a lot of historical and more reasons. And if you reread the Malagaro's dedication there, you actually learn that Chevron and the other two people that we're gonna fight were actually his apprentices. And a lot of the dark shit that they did uh, is because of Malagaro. Just a fun lore fact. Ah, Dodre's Arena. So this one, he just fat. Yeah, he, yeah, that's his special ability. He's fat, and also in the she. four. She okay, whatever. In the four corners, there's auras, and by I, I get affected by all of them when I step over here. It's like uh, I'm past the time. Three corners. Slowly. Yeah, three corners. Vulnerability. I'm, I take increased physical damage, and one of them makes me do less damage. All right, I'm in the less damage corner. 
It doesn't. That's like the least threatening one. I mean, generally all of it makes you do less damage. So. I didn't catch a word of what you said. Or take more damage. That's probably a good thing. Deirdre didn't tell me anything though. Deirdre never talks because her mouth don't work. Yeah, but she's like, I didn't catch a word of what you said. Uh, I guess that's the joke. Yeah. He's being a cheeky <laughs> cunt. Yes, yes, he was. So Deodre um, was put to death at one point in the lore because she liked to eat people, she liked to kill babies, she did a real- she had, honest to god, out of like everybody lore-wise, she's like the one person that's like the worst. Like when you really think about it, the shit she did was pretty bad actually. But apparently the worst like, thing was- by Apparently the worst thing is she didn't know how to shut the fuck up apparently, because, you know. Well no, she had a giant tongue. A giant tongue. Yeah. But, uh, so that way she could, you know, it, her tongue was so big she used it like an elephant trunk, Mike. My god, man. <laughs> uh, Alright, and the last one is Malagaro. Exquisite. Mal yeah, Malagaro. This guy does a bit of chaos damage, he has some mines he puts on the ground. My spirit uh, and the we just punch him in the face. Yeah. I never sculpt. <laughs> Take comfort, Malagaro. An artist's work is always worth more when he's dead. Yeah, Malagar is the one that made the Chamber of Sins and Fidelitis, actually. Wow, I, I may have found almost an upgrade to my axe, except for the fact that uh, it doesn't have sockets on it, so... It's... RIP! Yeah. It's still kind of nice. I mean, have you been checking the vendors for, like, sockets and shit? Uh, not really. But that's okay, we don't have to use it. I'm just saying, like, at this point, like, you're watching me, you guys are watching me, like, like, fucking blaze through this, but honestly, it is really, like, just hatred, Herald of Ash, and just having a decent weapon. And if you don't have a decent weapon, if you, you can try and craft one. Um, and I mean, as I said, this, Bane of Legends, does a lot for DPS and a lot for killing stuff early on. I'm just gonna go portal back to her. We don't care. I'm gonna go style stuff real quick. Actually, I guess I'll do the same. I guess I'll keep the axe or something. I need to put it here. What is it, Exile? No reason. You that. Are, are you are you that much of a dude that you just can't let it go? Uh, I can't. This is a nice dex amulet. It's a shame I can't use that because I need the intelligente. <laughs> I'm watching you. All right. I think I now have enough to show you the recipe. I think I was doing here. Yeah, I think I do. So when these um, so you've what been noticing when keeping exile? these these quality flasks. So when you sell them and they they about uh, all the percentages add up to about um, uh, forty percent, um, you get a glass blower's bubble from it, and so and that will died. up the quality of another flask. So for example, this um, I've been kind of working on this quicksilver here. So I don't know how many I have right now with glass blowers. I have two right now. So before I make it into blue, I want to make it into uh, twenty percent quality, and then I have a really good flask. Kind of thing. So that's what I've been doing so far. It's a nice vendor recipe to get glass gl glass blowers bubbles, which are very useful to us. Very very useful for us. What's that's you what I've been I've been looking at fucking link linked uh linked pieces of gear, but no, I have not. Will be remembered. And I don't really care because we're good for now. All right, but I have to I have to try. All right, let's go into the harvest. I'm gonna talk to Pity for an hour. You, my champion have caused me more pain than any other man in my life. Yet do you know from whence my true agony has originated? Not from the violence you have inflicted upon me. I'm a big girl. I can take it. No. It is having to look into those pretty eyes of yours across this chasm of creed that has separated us. Until this moment. Alright. I guess I gave her all of it. Nope. She just had unique uh, dialogue for the duelist of basically looking into pretty eyes. And you're, you're gonna give her a little death. Yeah, yeah. What a pleasure to finally meet you, duelist. You and I will create the most beautiful of nightmares together. Let us bathe you in blood, duelist, so that this world might be bathed in glory. Now, Welcome to Malachi. Uh, when he's raising his mace there, probably not a good idea to send around him. Yeah, probably not. When she says to kill her, you just uh, oblige her, you go, oh, of course, Pidey. I would love to do that. So Malagaro has a shield, and Pidey keeps dropping the shield, but he keeps taking control of Pidey, so we have to take back back control of Pidey again and again. Yeah.
Oh, I can't call her Pep. Oh no! So the, ma the giant mace he had sticks it in her. Yeah, there you go. Fucking great. Gross. This is what I get for trying to be a bloody hero. An honest death. The only redemption I was ever likely to get. You know, it's a question that's always haunted me. Whose will be the last face I see? I like the answer. Go, my pretty champion. I want that fine ass of yours to be the last thing I see. <laughs> I just love a fucking dog between her. Far be it from me to deny a lady's <laughs> final wish. I love the dog between the duelist and the and piety. All right, we don't have to worry about the mace attack anymore. Uh, anymore. Truly understand what it means to be nightmare. So he just he ain't got no more shield, Lieutenant Mike. So he goes to these hearts. You gotta destroy these hearts every time he comes. To it's like a fucking weird boss fight. I I am actually tanking through most of what he has here. So roll a three, Mike. And roll a three. As I said, he gets three of them. There's like some damage over time ground there that you have to kind of concern yourself with. But I have a lot of leech, so as long as I'm hitting something, we're pretty good. And as long as I have enough mana. He has, a bit, he has like a Stargate attack, it's great. He's gonna fucking SG1 this bitch up. I, I don't remember the tentacles from Stargate, Mike. I, I don't know. Uh, I think I think that was in one of the other shows. I think it was in the universe. Oh, was that from the Stargate anime? Yeah. Is the true eternal. And so this is the last one. Now he's gonna die the next time we get him. I, mean, I think he has some like little things that kind of follow us around. Blow up attack. Also, stay away from him when he kind of goes in the ground. Oh, he got me. Oh, that bad, Rip. So th th this is also a damage over time on the ground. So, and now I killed him. I'm trying to show you because honestly, I could probably just blaze through it and just kill him really quickly. But you know, that's just kind of how it is. Oh, he's gonna crush. It's a strange feeling when the fighting is done. Uh. I've won. The nightmare is ended. Crunchy crunch. Alright, let's go to, um... Let's just suck all the people and then I guess we're done here, so let me go tech. The beast is dead, and Ray classed owes you its life. Is this the grand ending you were hoping for, duelist? Yes. You must be very proud of yourself. You will be remembered. There's no arena, no trophy, no accolade, no title. No, no end to what Pataras could spout in your honor. In this case, I think it's all right to do so for a bit, don't you? We're standing in the presence of the greatest duelist that ever lived. For once, I actually agree with him. You've done more than attain glory, duelist. You've saved the entire bloody world. We needed a hero and you rose to the occasion. Thank you. Good luck. All right, we got two more to do and then just to sell all the shit I have, and that's it. I've met just one other man like you upon this long and twisted thread that is my life. Chittis. A man who understood what it took to give himself absolutely to glory. Yet you and he are different in one tiny little way. Chittis died gloriously. You did not. And now it is my Malachi who is dead. I knew it, felt it, understood it the moment you struck the final blow. I am, I was, the Gemling Queen. And now my king is dead. We dreamed only the greatest dreams. Malachi and I, a truly eternal empire, eternal life, eternal love, a future no longer afraid of the past, eternal lies, eternal loss, those are our true gifts to Rayclast. This land could not have asked for a worse king and queen. Rayclast leaves the past behind it now. Malachi's past. 
my past. It thanks you, not a cockroach. It loves you. I wish, I wish, I wish that I could do the same. No love. I was right to have faith in you, Cursebreaker. You have succeeded where we have failed. You have slain a creature that was thought to live forever in the minds of those who came before you. Vol, Doreso, Kaum, Deshret. The greatest champions Rayclast has seen in the last 300 years. You stood where they fell. Now you are the champion of champions, and Rayclast should bow at your feet in gratitude. You certainly have my gratitude and that of my Akara. We have been exiled from our land by fear and misguided duty. Now we may return, to ride where we will, live how we wish. Cursebreaker, giver of freedom, we thank you. Go where you are needed. There's one more guy, I forgot about Tasuni down here. Yeah, this motherfucker wants to talk. heart beats for no one but yourself. Yet, you have committed the greatest and most selfless of men. Was it an act of the heart? Or merely an act? Regardless, you may now stride heroically into the sunset. Back to your grand arena. Yes, in Orion. Upon the mountain high, a gateway has opened. One that shall lead you back home. Hurry. For as the death rose of the beast soften and still, I see the gate beginning to close. Ever pursue your glory, duelist, lest you be forgotten. Alright guys, I'm going to sell all this stuff off screen. We're going to continue with the new content next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. What do you need now?